Oh, by the way, you tuned in to Ebro in the morning, and uh, Laura Styles Rosenberg yes. not with us right now, but with us, the twins from Queens. Queens. Yeah. yeah. Queens, Nicole New York. and Natalie, Nina Sky. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> now, who's Nicole? Who's Natalie? I'm Nicole. I'm Natalie. And mm. we're Nina Sky. Yeah. You guys still do that pretty good. You yeah, know, man. It's, it's been so many years. Yeah, it's, man. It's been so natural now. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah. are you guys singing now? You're DJing, Nicole. Yeah. I've been DJing. Like, no. For and, a while. and not like a celebrity DJ. Like, you Nicole's get it in. Nicole's been like DJing I, she, since she was in high school. Like, 13 she gets it in. Before high school. Like, vinyl. Yeah, like, like real. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I've been DJing since I was 13. When I was 16, I was like DJing school parties and like some of the clubs in New York. Now, Natalie and I will DJ together. Nat will be on the mic, MC host. I'll yeah. DJ. It's, it's fun. We also still make music. Yeah. We yes. Still. Yeah. We're, we're actually working on a new project that we're putting out in September called The Brightest Gold. And so, we, yeah. We dropped a new single on Tuesday. So, we're really excited about that. It's called Forever. These guys are professionals, man. I forgot. Yeah, man. man. This Come is, on. This is exciting bro. stuff. You know what? I think it's really important <laughs> that we kind of remind the people because they have. I mean, Nicole and Natalie have done a lot. No, they have. Like when they first came out, okay, you first came out, it was our very own, well, well. Cypher's house. Our very Aww. own. Why are you, why, <laughs> yeah. Hi, Cypher. Well, well. hey, <laughs> because, what you, you know, sometimes I feel like. What? Our friend Cypher Sounds. You feel like you had to talk about him? No, because I said our very own, but he's not here anymore. He is our very own. He's our very own. We birthed him. <laughs> well, he didn't like disappear, guys. Oh, he's, he's still, still alive. alive. I talk to him all the time. Yeah. Hi, Cypher. Our very it's like, own. <laughs> Hello. Cypher got kicked out. He got kicked out of the house. He had Aww. to go grow up, and then you know, it's like he went away to college. Now he's going. Aww. He went to do his whole thing. People have to grow up and leave. Angie had to grow up and leave, right? Like he had to so go. So that's on. what happened. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. They've been here their whole lives. Oh man. Their entire lives. They need with. to spread their wings and yeah. fly. That's and, right. I mean, that's <laughs> what happened. Right? That's what happened. Yeah. You guys have had to go through that. Several times. We have had to go through that, you know, and I think it's just called growing up and sometimes you just You guys had to... to leave Queens. Yeah. Right? You had to at a point you guys were working with Cypher Sounds, then you weren't working with Cypher yeah, Sounds. Yeah, we were working with Cypher Sounds, then we weren't, and we were signed to Next Plateau Universal, and then we were signed to J Records Polo, Polo Ground. Ground. That's right. And mm -hmm. then we weren't, and then now we've just been releasing music independently on our own. Well, you guys kind of beasted on Polo Grounds though, like Brian Leach. You were like, yo, <laughs> we're getting out of this kind con... who's the one that went on Twitter. We will not disclose that information. <laughs> there it is. You know what it is? We actually, you know, we we are really thankful for, every, for everything that Brian did and like he got us into the studio with a lot of awesome producers. We recorded a lot of awesome songs that we loved. It's just when it came to releasing it, it never happened. And we were like, we put so much work in recording all these songs, writing all these songs, working with all these producers. Like, what's up? Can we put... And what years was this? This was like 2000. Six. Five, six. Yeah, yeah. 2006, 2007. So I think that was the issue. And we this couldn't is when get you guys answer. were working with Ross. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We had, like, we loved the songs that we made. Yeah, we had put out Curtain Call with Rick Ross and yeah, Flippin' Nash. Right. Yeah, right. So we didn't get a response about when we could when we were releasing it, and everyone's like, we love the music, we love the music. So when we just got to this point, we were like, okay, if we're not gonna release the music, just let us go, and we'll just release music independently, or you know, get into another situation. We couldn't get an answer, so I guess we we just you know went <laughs> we, on just, Twitter yeah. and we're like, yo, call. We let this everybody guy. know. We're like super <laughs> passionate about what we do. And I mean, you can see it in the fact that we've continued making music since 2004. And like, just we have that fire. And if someone that we're working with doesn't have the same fire and the same passion, it's like difficult because we just, you know, we were there ready to put in the work. He just had to like release the music so that we can put in that work. And and so and wait, uh, and I don't know. I mean, you guys were part of making reggaeton mainstream like that was like a you one of your record with nori and it was nori's record it was nori's record nori's yeah. record oye canto with us and daddy yankee was the first reggaeton record to be played on mainstream radio right which is awesome it was the first reggaeton record we it ever charted recorded too. like it was yep. like a top yeah. 20 hit or something yeah right? yeah it was the first time we had ever done reggaeton music as well so yeah we were part of that movement oh sing it Ebro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was us so um <laughs> So you go to the Polo Grounds thing, and then after the Polo Grounds thing, boom, independent. 
yeah. yeah we just we just started you know recording more music working with more producers and, and collaborating with other artists and finally releasing music and i think it's really important that you guys talk about how your style changed because i felt like and listen i it's they're very close to me because we're really really good friends but i also felt that at a time the labels wanted you guys to have a certain look yeah and be a certain way yeah but i think it's just part of them wanting everything to be cohesive you know we're not mad at the fact that like they wanted you know their vision and our image to like you know go together and Natalie and I understand that we have to you know it, it's it's a a business relationship where it's not like everything we say goes or everything they say goes we have to meet in the middle you know what I mean so it was still true to who we were but yeah like it was a, a collaboration and they felt like you know Nina Sky was Nina Sky should look a certain way and they hired stylists and we were totally cool with that because me and Nat are open, you know what I mean? As, as long as we're doing what we love, as long as we're making the music that we want to want wanted to make, we we're open to it. But I definitely feel like now we've gotten the opportunity since we're independent artists just to like, you know, be ourselves and like, you know, we dress ourselves, we Natalie's, I mean, do you? You yeah. have the same jacket on. We have the same we do <laughs> have the same jacket you on. Natalie dressed you or you dressed her? No, we dress ourselves. We're just but. like <laughs> It's just, everything comes directly from yeah. us, you know what I mean? Which yeah. is like the best feeling. There's no one, we don't have to tailor it to, for any, to anyone else's liking, which is amazing. And I, I think for some people, they still have Nina Sky from 2004 in their, in their heads because when you look online, you, you know, that's our that's biggest song, see. Move yeah, Your Body. Yeah, yeah. Right. But, um, and a lot of people say, whatever happened to Nina Sky? I'm yeah. like, Yo, they're touring, they're making music. Yeah, we've they're been all like, over the place. We've been super fortunate to collaborate with a lot of amazing artists since 2004. We worked with Major Lazer, we've worked with um, Aventura, Dope. Sean Paul. We did a song Wale. with Action, Bron Action Bronson. Yep. We did a song mm -hmm. with um, Talib Kweli. We did a remix for one of his songs. We did. Um, I, I mean, I can think, and like I, even now, I'm thinking of songs the that I don't even remember. Is but, <laughs> but I'm just saying, after we, you know, after we worked with them, we just we got the opportunity to be more creative and not be in a box and All have right. to yeah. do like a certain kind Here's of music. Deal. You know, Here's the deal. This is what needs to happen now. You're Nina Sky. We are. As far as I know, you're the first anything in our world with the surname Sky. <laughs> now there's Mad Skies. Oh, yeah? There's mad skies. What skies? Sky Vodka. Okay. <laughs> Should be a sponsor. All right, all right. Justine Sky okay. from Brooklyn. Oh, She's yeah. Cool. She's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Brittany Sky out here trying to DJ. Yes. A girl that worked here around the radio we station. We saw her at the Beats um, event. See? Yeah. There should be a Sky Tour. Okay. <laughs> sponsored by Sky Vodka. Set that up, Ebro. Let's do it. <laughs> I just... Holler. <laughs> Yo, this is what I do, I man. Call up Sometimes. Ebro and make this happen. Is that happen. whack? Is that whack? <laughs> is that whack? That's not whack. It's a little weird. Why is it weird? Because everybody so, has the last know. name it's Sky. Weird. I don't know. I don't <laughs> She's know. like, mm, you, uh, maybe not. not. You guys could be Sky and the family instead of Sly oh. and the family oh. stone. <laughs> oh my Sky okay. and the family that, stone. I think that's when I kind of yeah. like draw the line. Yeah. Everything else cool. You yeah. know, this whole <laughs> Sky, Sky and the family stone. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> um, so on this uh, project that you guys are releasing, yeah. talk to us about what the music sounds like because obviously it doesn't sound like 2006, right? It's probably a little bit more what? I mean, we we would say we're an R&B based group. You know, we're R&B at, at our core, but it's inspired by all the music we listen to. There's like a track on it that's drum and bass feel. There's a track on it that's just, um, you know, um, reggae vibe. It's just everything that we love with an R&B bass. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I would say that it's produced by the entire project is produced by Vito Fun and Space Plant. The first single off the track of the project is called Forever. Mm -hmm. And that has kind of like a an like an updated Miami based freestyle vibe, oh, but dope. with an R and B feel to like it. The still. melody's real R and B, but the yeah, drums and things yeah. are we tried to do something that was just like updating it. So it's it feels current, but the inspiration was like that Miami based I like freestyle. This. I kinda. like this. I like this. Good. With like an R and B feel. It was originally written as a like a slow jam and we, we were like, yo, let's do and something then you threw that was some more summer sixteenths and things and sped it up a little bit and brighten the colors. Yeah, on it. man. And I think the end result is even more awesome than when we originally wrote it. Yeah. Right? I think the original's dope too. We may put it out as like a remix or something. You guys have such but... great relationships with like huge producers that love you, like Salam Remy. Oh my god. Love why yeah. why did you why is this project only produced by Space Plant and Vito Fun? Because you know, it wasn't you know, the last project we put out we worked with Salam Remy. We also worked with um Bruno Mars. We worked with a lot of awesome awesome people. It's just 
we wanted to do a project that just sound all together cohesive, like it was made to to exist together. And sometimes when you work with different producers, all the songs sound like a certain producer made it. So for us, it was like, how do we make you a song? You wanted one experience. Yeah, yeah, like how do we make it sound like it was meant to exist together? We got in the studio for a month. Natalie and I just booked out a studio for a month, and we just... Yeah, we did multiple studios to yeah. get like different vibes, and but I think the, the chemistry producers. was just so good. It didn't even make sense to step out of that room and work with anyone else. So yeah, that's kind of how that. I've happened. always really liked you guys. Well, thank you. We, we always, always really liked you too. too. Yeah. I mean, our birthdays are close together, so it makes sense. So we both we, uh, you guys have to admit this. There's always an awkward vibe between us, right? When we walk in a room. You, we brought you guys nah, donuts nah, today. Nicole always <laughs> waits even... for me to talk to her first. <laughs> Nicole what? waits for Nic everyone to talk to her first, and it's not intentional. Nicole's not waiting. You don't stick up for her. Just no, no, no. I, I am gonna <laughs> stick up for my sister. <laughs> Listen, no. Um, Nicole's not waiting for people to talk to her. She's just very like in her own world. Yeah, she's Listen, not even I brought you guys yeah, donuts not, this and it's morning. Not even, people should not. And I tell everyone this because like my friends that maybe you know, aren't around Nicole that much. They're like, why is Nicole? I'm like, she's just, she's, it's not intentional. Like, she just doesn't realize it. It's it's like if you're not like her wife or like Wow Wow, her dog, <laughs> or like <laughs> me, or like my son, Nicole's just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> And I not, guess that's me. I, I don't know. What do you think, Laura? What do you think? Wait, 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 you can't ladies. ask me because for I've been with you guys for years. Ladies, but I mean that wait. in a nice way. That's like that comes from my heart. Can we talk like, to Nicole? That comes from her heart. <laughs> Nicole, what do you think about this observation? I mean, I think I I don't I just am who I am. You know what I mean? I think for some I I open up to people differently. Some, yeah, but it's not intentional. You're not trying to be rude to anyone. I'm just me. Mm. You know, there's a soft maybe I'm in my own world. By the way, I'm the same way. People say the same thing. See, about so me. that's why you guys you have that vibe. Yeah. You, so have, you have resting bitch face a lot. Yeah, I do. They'll be like, "Yo, what the fuck's wrong with you?" I'll be like, "I'm chilling. What the fuck is wrong with you?" Mind you know, the first the first time the first time I went to Europe, I went on tour with them. So when I was trying to figure out what, what I wanted to do, hype man, what no, were you singing yes. background? What were yes. you doing? Yes, yes, yeah. I was the third you member. Oh really? You did not know Laura is the third member of the Sky. Yes. Yo, I was like, I just, I wasn't sure. I was like, maybe I want to be a road manager. Maybe, what what can I do? And Nicole's like, you want to be a road manager? Come on, let's go. To the <laughs> and I played. I was like, that's what I am. Yes, yes, and then yes. I became the hype girl. I was like, mm -hmm. what can I do? But they took me to Europe for the very first time. And it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then Laura screwed it up and you guys kicked her out of the group. That's no. What no, I'm Keep still real. part of it. Hello, we're no, all you're here. Not. Yes, I am. You're not a part of Nina Sky, yo. <laughs> we were actually here to make that announcement the fuck today. Out of to announce that, that we are officially here. adding a third member to <laughs> Nina Sky. Right, well, if that's the case, intro this new single right now. Intro the new song. Let's come on. Go. Come on, Laura. One, two, okay. three. This new single, Nina Sky, not featuring me. <laughs> okay, but I have the pleasure to introduce it. It's called Forever. Off the brightest gold. Yeah. Yes. And it's produced by uh, Space Party. No, no. She's in the group. Who's it produced oh, by? I, I don't know. I forgot who it's produced by. She wasn't at that session. And when's the album uh, come out? Later this summer. Boom. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> See? End of the summer? <laughs> September, but that is the Call end it, of the summer. That's, yeah. That's, 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 yeah. Give it up for Nina Scott. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. You guys. Don't stop, I love what you're doing, babe I wanna live in this moment with you forever Something about this love is supernatural Got me feeling things I never felt before Caught up in your touch and I keep getting up Getting up, getting up 